What's going on, everybody? It's a nitty, and we have some Mass Effect 2. This is my step into this Mass Effect series. I've heard a lot about it, um, and we'll get this. This is we're gonna be heading to the first mission here. Actually, it would be the second mission, but we're gonna go in, and we need to find a couple people and find some evidence of what's going on. But um, this game here came with the interactive cartoon, so I could get caught up on the first. Um, game because it you know obviously I play on the PS3 so I couldn't pick up Mass Effect 1 and then import it all the way through so this one came with that uh, interactive cartoon I went through the interactive cartoon I had to start the game over here as you can see my guy looks a little bit different than uh, my military Monday and um, so we, we started it over I went through the interactive cartoon made all the important decisions I don't know how many of you Mass Effect fa uh, fans are out there but what I did was I saved um, I kept the bug queen alive I saved the console um, and I put the Admiral in charge of everything coming into this one so I made all those important decisions through that came into this game and we're about to get this started so uh, for all you guys out there, you know, feel free to add all your comments and criticism as we go through this. Um, let me know what I should be looking for. I know there's a lot of uh, Mass Effect uh, fans out there. I see that um, the fan base is really rabid. So my, the whole premise behind me going back to Mass Effect 2 here was so I could get caught up on the story and know a little bit of what I'm talking about without jumping in and peeving off the entire Mass Effect fan base at the at the same time so we, that's what the reason why I'm, I'm kind of taking a step back because I've never stepped into this game before to see what's going on with it and Strange. see no what's going on there damage. but I've heard a lot about it so we'll see as we get in here in my first little mission I picked um oh I keep hitting the wrong button See, I'm already getting my control screwed up here. Uh, my guy is a soldier. I went, went ahead and picked soldier. I wasn't exactly sure what to pick. I tried to... Uh, I could probably put on my disruptor ammo here. But, um... Yeah, I picked soldier because I really didn't know anything about the other classes. So I figured soldier was a good starting point. Getting my combat up and all that other good stuff. So we'll see where it takes me. Yes! There comes a resistance. Oh. That's me, Shepard. Uh oh, did I just I just killed my own guy here. As you can see, I'm a Okay, at least I come back alive. As you can see, I'm a complete Mass Effect noob as soon as, as as far as the controls go. I popped my first one on Insanity like a fool, and I was dying like every two minutes, so it really wasn't worth um, what I was going through because I didn't. So I'll probably maybe keep this around and play through on Insanity at some point. But right now we're just uh, sticking to normal and going from there. These spread out pretty good. But I have heard that there's a... I just read an article last night, actually, on Mass Effect 3, how there was an FTC complaint filed about the ending. Um, there's a lot of people, like, online petitions about the ending needing to be reworked. Oh. And I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, obviously, because I haven't played Mass Effect 3. I haven't played the series. So even if I got to the ending of Mass Effect 3, I couldn't even really tell what people were talking about. But I heard it's it's going down and a lot of people aren't happy. I've heard the opposite as well as people need to, you know, from other people that I've talked to at work and so on and so forth that have told me that, you know, I don't, they don't understand why everybody's getting so peeved off about it. It's, you know, it's just... It's just one of those things. So, if you guys have any, uh, what's your opinion on that as far as the Mass Effect 3 ending goes? I heard there was three different endings, and depending on how much you did, and you can add the online to it and all this other stuff, there's actually three different endings. 
uh, each one getting better depending on how many points you have. So I'm not a, I have really no idea, but. Cerberus rebuilt me, but I'm not taking their orders. We can discuss the specifics once I know why you're here. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His Let's name was we Vitor. Do here. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his Oh, and another decision I took real quick was when I had to decide who to keep, I killed off Caden and kept Ash. And from my understanding is when we do that, the only one who can tell us all the consequences that you like, the different things you did import into the second one, and then like all the things I've done are like are in consequences. Compared to that, import into the third one, so on and so forth, and everybody pretty much can have their own different little story to a point. I mean, there's only so many choices you can make at certain points. So, Let's see here. make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Team up with these guys here. Make sure I don't miss any safes. Gotta get that money. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up what? ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of it. Alright. Alert. Oh. oh, I hit the wrong button again. got in a little bit of trouble because they didn't want to wait for me. So... Come into here. Oh, I also, uh... This weekend I got all psyched up for Darksiders 2. Went and pre-ordered and paid that off. I went and got my beta code for... Terra Online. So I'm going to be bringing you guys some of that footage. Here this weekend is the next beta test. So we're going to have that up. And running. Oh, we, you know, that's a good thing that your teammates actually take care of some enemies for you because I've played quite a few games where, um, oh my, I'm going to have to remove my square button here. But I've played quite a few games where your teammates are just there for aesthetic reasons. They don't do anything. Like, Vanquish was pretty much one of them. You had a whole squad and they really didn't do anything. You ended up having to pretty much take out everything on your own as it was. So it's good to see that these guys actually have their own powers and they take care of things. Got it. Understood. All right. Let's see what's going on here? Oh, they unleashed a, a monster robot. 
Oh, and another thing I wanted to ask you guys real quick as, as far as my newbiness goes, there's a Renegade and Paragon actions. Now, um, I noticed that, you know, some conversations I get both points, like some I'll get more Paragon points than others, and some I'll get more Renegade points than others, and I wasn't exactly sure, you know, if there's a way that you have to start to focus that, like at the end of the game, do you need to be one or the other, or can you kind of stay neutral all the way up? As you go, so. Oh, I'm getting mowed down here. Take a step down. check out some of this stuff before we go on because the one time and uh, I seen some data pads or something and the, the first little mission that you do like the, pretty much the intro to the game and I didn't go get them and I went into a cutscene and it wouldn't let me go back so and I don't know if they were even affected anything so it's always good to Start checking around where everything is before I move forward. Let me get some credits together. We can use this. Have you two thousand iridium? Alright, let's see if there's anything over there. No. No. Alright. Monsters coming back. Mechs will be safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. I really dig their th no this race's or character's uh, armor. I'm not exactly sure if you can get it. I see that you can no. change your armor around. Uh, obviously, I did, but monsters I didn't really have many options, so. Hey, I'm talking to you. Great. We come all this way and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Swarm's coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. Mechs will protect. Have to hide. I don't want to do Have a renegade hide. action. No escape. Can't I hide forever. Kind of focus on Paragon. Monsters find you. No hope. No escape. Vitor, I'm here to protect you. I won't let the monsters get you. I promise. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. There we go. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. I can't believe I missed out on this because I was Looks big, like you know. Played the heck out of KOTOR what the hell and all that? those other games, and then I just kind of let this one go to the wayside. Oh but I think it was one of those things, you know, it's been it's out for collective. years, but that kind of got to the point where I was um, that some kind of alien? There in between, you know, going from my RPG phase movie. into my shooter phase, and now I'm kind of coming back around. Uh, I spent a lot of years like messing like around with nothing but shooters. They're involved with the Reapers somehow. It could explain. Kind of let a lot of, of games slip by, etc. You know, much like Borderlands and Mass Effect and the collectors have advanced all these technology. games. I can't believe they could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find like you. you gotta freeze you. Hunt these guys then down the could be possibly the guys away. that killed us in the beginning. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. 
I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. Now, here's a question for you guys real quick, too, as we're going through these conversations. Does every little thing, or how do you know, like, uh, for example, like, when you're in just a normal conversation and they don't have the Renegade and Paragon options that I'm picking what I really want to focus on, is there, like, a certain way uh, where they are on the dial? Like, is the upper left something that would be Paragon? Is the, the lower right or something like that going to be Renegade? If we give him to you, we'll so I'm not kind of counterbalancing myself Roger just due to a normal conversations. Men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Let's see if we you don't have to take Vitor to go. Us. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll send him with that girl. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving She's kind of pissy. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. All right, looks like we're heading back. Talk to this Shepard. guy and let him know what's Good going on. Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data. Now this guy here, if anybody knows, has a, I don't know, his his face and his mannerism and, and, and voice is really familiar. And I don't know if they got a certain actor that plays him, but um, the data from his Omni tool should be quite. I useful. can't put my finger on it. We're still analyzing it, but more importantly, you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The collectors are enigmatic at best. It's almost they like this guy's some sort of cyborg. The systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the collectors. The collectors are definitely a human enemy, but how do we know there's a connection to the Reapers? Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed Sovereign. The abductions are related, even if the Alliance and the Council refuse to believe it. I won't right, wait so. until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Since we destroyed the first one, and the first one, I've according to the interactive comic that I went through, it looks like these guys You'll are retaliating by just sucking up all these people. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. All right, it looks be like ready. we're going to have to recruit. Jacob How many do you need to keep me in check? I've made it clear to Miranda and Jacob that you're in charge. You decide who joins your squad. Everyone else on this list was chosen specifically for this mission. They're the best. I'll do the best I can with what you've given me. I'm sure you will. Before you go, two things. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Sounds good. What else? Right, I found a pilot time to I recruit think my fight. squad, like it looks like. Best. Someone you can trust. Oh, we got our, our buddy back. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, records sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Severus. You really trust the elusive man? 
Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. Ooh, looks like we got our, uh, a new version of our ship coming in. But as this mission finishes up, guys, yes, please let me know what you guys got for Mass Effect. For you guys, Mass Effect fans out there, what I should be looking for. If you got any tips or tricks to kind of get me started in this series. Like I said, I, I don't know much about the lore. All I've done is the uh, interactive comic, and we're starting right here in my first couple missions in Mass Effect 2 and moving forward. And as soon as we get this game done, we're going to pick up Mass Effect 3 and get right into it and see what all the hubbub's about, see what all the hype and all the people are mad about. So that's what I got for you guys today. Hit me up. As always, have a great day. Keep your heads up. Peace. What's going on, everybody? I just want to let you guys know you can hit my Azura's Wrath playthrough up over on Tour de Force. Let me know what you guys think and let me know what you guys want to see next. If you just missed my last video on Military Monday, my second part two of two of my boot camp series and we're going to get into infantry school next i'll pop a link up there for you guys as well if you like what you've seen hit that subscribe button hit me up over on justin tv for my live streams twitter and facebook for my news and updates and much much more also go over and check out viso gamer and vid page i hope to see you guys there soon and as always keep your heads up have a great day peace